Hi everybody, this is Jen from CookiesCupcakesAndCardio.com. We have had many requests for this following recipe, so I hope you all enjoy it. And it is red velvet whoopie pies. So let's get started. So the ingredients that we're going to need to make the red velvet whoopie pies are as follows. We're going to need one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of butter, two cups of all-purpose flour, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, quarter teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder. You're going to need one cup of buttermilk, one recipe of cream cheese icing, which we have on our channel and we'll link for you. And you're also going to need some red food gel, or you can also use um, liquid red food coloring. So once you've got all your ingredients together, the first thing that we're going to do is mix together the dry ones. So we're putting in the flour, the baking powder, the salt, and the cocoa. So we're just going to mix it up until it's incorporated together and then you'll just set it off to the side and we're going to put it into the mixture in a couple of minutes. So up next, we're going to cream our butter. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can of course use your handheld heater. So once the butter has been mixed, you want to add your brown sugar. And you're going to mix this until it's incorporated. So now we're going to add our egg. And our vanilla. Okay, so once the ingredients are incorporated, we want to put in our red gel paste. If you don't have red gel paste, you can use red liquid food coloring, and you're going to use, want to use about one ounce of the liquid food coloring, but it's also going to depend on how red you want your whoopie pies to be. So you can use more of the gel paste than I'm going to, which is about approximately one teaspoon. If you want them really bright red, I would add two teaspoons, um, but that's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna put the red gel paste in. And I'm going to mix this up. And while it's mixing, I'm going to get my flour mixture ready. So now that the red has been incorporated into the wet ingredients, we're going to start by adding our dry ingredients in one third intervals with our buttermilk. So the first, we're going to put approximately a third of the dry in. Start it off slowly and we're going to add about half of our buttermilk. Another third of our flour. Rest of the buttermilk. and the rest of the flour. We're going to give the bowl one scrape to make sure we've got all the flour down off the side. and we're going to give it one final mix. After the mix is done, we're going to put it off to the side just for a couple minutes while I'm going to show you how to make the layout for the whoopie pies. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make the whoopie pies into the shape of hearts. And for this, I'm going to be using a small fondant cutter in the shape of a heart. And on parchment paper, I'm just going to trace around the outside of it. And this is how I'm going to line up 
all of the places where I'm going to pipe the whoopie pie batter. In order to do this, I'm going to get um, close, sorry, close in size hearts, and then that will ensure that the tops and the bottoms of the whoopie pies are actually matching. So you're just going to lay them out down the side and then you want to lay them out across the top as well. So I've got one sheet already prepared, just like this. You don't want to have the pencil on the side up, so right before you're ready to pipe, you want to flip it over, and so the pencils are on the side facing downwards. It's very faint, but you can still see it quite well and much and well enough to be able to pipe the batter onto that. So I'm going to load my whoopie pie batter into a piping bag, and I will be back to show you how to do the next step. So I've got my batter in my piping bag and I have my 1A tip at the end of the bag and I'm using the 1A because it's relatively the same size as the shape of the heart that I put onto here. Now the batter is a little bit sticky when it comes out so you can just pull it away with your finger but you just want to start at the top of the heart, go down to the bottom, back up, squeeze, release, and then you can work it down with your heart, with your finger, to smooth it out um, for when it bakes. It will bake flat, it looks really good. So down, back up to the top, work that little top in. So I'm just going to finish off the tray here, and then I'm going to put them into my preheated oven, which is at 375 degrees and they're going to go in for seven to nine minutes, depending on the temperature with which your oven works at. So the whoopie pies have come out of the oven. They were in for nine minutes in my oven. And what you want to do while you're waiting for them to cool back to room temperature is put together the cream cheese buttercream. We'll provide the link for you at the bottom of the video in the show notes. So whip up your buttercream and we'll be back when the whoopie pies have cooled. So once all the whoopie pie halves have cooled, what you want to do is match them up as close as you can according to size, like the small ones with the small ones and the big ones with the big ones. And then you're going to flip over one half and that's the half that you're going to be piping the buttercream mixture onto. So this is the cream cheese buttercream and I'm fitted and it's fitted at the end with a 2A Wilton tip and it's that size just so I can pipe a nice heart shape in here. If you don't have a piping bag, you can just use a spoon, but piping it onto the whoopie pie makes it a little bit cleaner. So I'm just gonna start around the outside, going just close to the edge, and then I would put the lid, the top, on. So I'll do a couple more, and then I'm gonna finish them off and I'll be back to show you the finished product. There you have it everybody! These are red velvet whoopie pies filled with cream cheese frosting. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember you can subscribe to our channel and you can find us on Facebook, Google Plus and on Twitter. If you liked what you saw, please share the video and we'll see you next time!